a step-by-step -step guide to the ASTM D2435-04, one-dimensional consolidation properties of soils using incremental loading. Step 1. Sampling. Gather all the tools needed to trim your circular sample. Shown here are all the tools needed. Place the confining ring onto the undisturbed sample or reconstructed soil. Gently press down just enough to hold it in place, less than 1 mm deep. Scrape around the confining ring methodically to remove soil and gently press down on the confining ring. Move slowly and carefully when scraping around the sample. Gather some of the trimmings to get a moisture content before the test. Repeat the scraping and trimming. Continue until about half a millimeter of the sample is protruding out of the confining ring as shown. Do not try to just cut the sample off when it's in the confining ring. Go in with a shallow angle. You would rather have excess soil to cut away than crack the sample or cut into the sample, and having to start over. Proceed to carefully remove the sample now inside the confining ring. With the sample now at the right lengths use a metal blade to scrape both ends of the sample until both sides are perfectly flat. Take care when scraping the ends so you don't accidentally create a seal with the clay. Keep both ends rough as shown. Weigh your sample and confining ring before the test. Step 2. Odometer Cell Assembly Gather all the parts of the odometer cell assembly. Here are the parts, and the names of the different parts. Place the lower porous disc into the odometer cell assembly if not already present. Place the number 54 filter paper on the lower porous disc. Please do not forget this filter paper. Place the sample and confining ring into the ring assembly as shown. There is a small lip that the sample and confining ring rest on. The tapered edge should be facing upwards at this point as shown. Place the whole ring assembly with the sample and confining ring into the odometer cell with the tapered edge facing down. Line up the three screw holes as shown. Take care not to cover the drain hole. Screw the ring assembly down tight to the cell. Place the top filter paper on the sample. Place the top porous disc on the filter paper. Place the top cap on the porous disc. Step 3. Saturation phase. At this stage the cell is ready to be transported to the odometer also called an consolidometer. Fill the cell with distilled water. In the absence of specification potable water may be used. You can fill your cell with water before placing it on the odometer if you are saturating many samples. Otherwise you would usually fill the cell once it is placed on the odometer and readings can be taken. Let the sample saturate for 24 hours prior to testing. It is also very important to keep the sample under a layer of water for the entire test. In summer months you may need to top up the water more than once a day. Once the top cap has been placed on the sample and the vertical LVDT in place you can move to the data acquisition system. Step 4. Starting the data recording. Turn on the data acquisition system if not already turned on. Navigate to the odometer you are using on the screen. Right-click on the odometer you will be using and click Start Test. This will bring up the recorder screen. Make sure that the vertical LVDT is working and connected. Note this may already be done and the Datacom app open on the reading screen. If this is the case just click on Channel and move to the odometer that you will be using. Then click Save in Excel and Name and save your test. If you are asked to record the data manually, you will take down your first reading now. Step 5. Loading and Loading Increments The standard waiting time between loadings should be 24 hours. The standard loading and unloading increment ratio is as follows. 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, 160, 320, 640, 1280, 320, 80, 20, and 5 kPa. You will find a chart that will tell you how much weight in kilogram each increment is. Take note that the weight shown for each increment is the total weight on the sample and not the amount you should add next. You may be asked to only take manual readings in which case the following is very important. Take your readings. Before, you add the next weight. Continue with the full loading and unloading sequence. Step 6. Sample removal and equipment cleanup. Carefully remove the odometer cell. Drain out the water. Unscrew the ring assembly. Carefully remove the sample and confining ring. Weigh your sample and confining ring again after the test. If the sample should break or fall apart, gather all the material into a miter box and weigh it, including the confining ring. After you have weighted your sample, place it in the oven to dry out. Move to clean the cell assembly. Do not use any metal tools to scrape off the clay or silt. Clean the odometer cell as shown. Make sure to clean the screw holes thoroughly. Let the disassembled parts dry out naturally. The porous plates should be boiled into aired water. After the porous plates have been boiled, Place the porous plates in the oven for 5 to 10 minutes to fully dry out.